Thank you for your support and for watching Aviv Tarot. This is a general pick a card reading. Take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. Not everything will apply. My readings are meant to be constructive and not destructive. I give readings to empower you. I will be honest in what I see and will not give you false hopes or empty promises in order to keep you happy. I will be compassionate and sensitive to your feelings and will not judge or condemn. Energies are ever-changing. You are still the master of your own destiny. Hi everyone, thank you for watching Aviv Tarot and today is the last day of 2021 and is the last day for my promotion. So please take advantage of the promotion where I'm giving away free um, readings, 10 to 15 minutes personal readings and it ends tonight which is December 31st of 2021. Happy New Year for all of the Asia um, countries or the East side of the world, right? I think you guys are already in January 1st. Happy New Year's. And so today we are going to do a pick a car reading and this reading is about surprises coming your way soon. And by soon, I would assume it would be around one to two months, okay? One to two months or so. Um, surprises will be coming your way. So what kind of surprise is um, heading your way right now? Uh, we will, the first, so I have three tarot cards, right? So for, so it's like a past, present, and a future. So the future will be the, the, the surprises coming your way, but also along with the the oracle cards and the tarot uh use it as um the first two cards use it as a confirmation that that's the pile for you i will talk about what's happening in the past and what's happening in the present moment and you can see if it kind of matches or resonate with what's happening with you and so that would be the pile for you and you can see what kind of surprises coming you're coming your way in about a month or two okay so um again this is last day for the promotion for all of the English pick a car reading. If there are 20 messages and above, I will give out, uh, I will draw one um, winner for each of the videos. That is over 20 messages for the English ones. And for the Chinese ones, all of the ones that are over 50 messages, I will pick out um, a lucky winner from each of the videos that are over 50 messages for the Chinese video and give out a free 10 to 15 minutes personal reading for those ones okay so without further ado we are going to start with pile number one and if you need more time to pick your pile um you can pause the video timestamps are going to be in the description box below as well as in the message box okay all right so for pile number one um we will take a look at the, the oracle cards later so what you are the past we have the empress that's really nice present we, ha we have six of cups that's really nice too and the future we have the strength card wow you have two major arcana cards okay so what's happening in the past i don't think um the past was too horrible for you in fact um you probably started doing something it's maybe like some kind of creative um work or either it's like related to creativity or like inspirational stuff or it's uh, more about romantic things okay so maybe you started um with some sort of a you know relationship with someone or you met someone who um you find very very attractive okay who you like probably fit most of the things that you're looking for in a partner so either that or you started doing something um at work uh, or you started doing some sort of a pro project passion project or um, things that you love to do. So you started doing that. Um, there's also a lot of abundance as well with the Empress card. So there's a lot of abundances um, in the past. And so everything was just very peaceful, very loving. Um, right now, what's going on with the current uh, is with the Six of C, which is the Six of Cups, which is a really nice too. So you're, I think you've been really, really calm 
um, things have been doing going pretty well for you uh, the six of cups is that soulmate car so maybe you met someone um, that you, you found really attractive right that we, we talked about this and then the six of cups like the more you get to know each other the more you're like oh wow we really connect in a deeper soul level um, and there's like equal give and take and you guys would uh, you know compromise and also agree with a lot of the things um, and try to make things work right six of cups lots of fulfillment and happiness and and just like fantastic building wonderful memories um together and that would be more the romantic side um if not then it's like if it's work or money work related then um things are just going really well for you you feel this emotional fulfillment and you love doing what you love uh, what, whatever you're doing right now is uh, giving you a lot of joy happiness and you just love it so 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 much you feel like you're born to do this right so that's what's happening with the past and the present and then so now with the future what kind of surprises are you going to receive we have the strength card which is a major arcana like that means um you will be able to fulfill anything nothing is impossible you have infinite potential the strength card is about courage as well so and um number eight is always about advancement um moving forward abundance so there's lots of abundances coming in so i think for you the surprises is not just limit to one but all kinds like sky's the limit so it could be any kind of thing like um you, you're not just going to receive just one surprise but maybe multiple surprises a lot of wonderful things are coming your way um one of them could be um you're becoming more confident and you're becoming more uh brave in doing things you're because all the things that you've been doing right now is just boosting up that confidence and making you love yourself more and you embrace all the wonderful qualities that you have as well as the flaws you have you understand that sometimes flaws are not flaws flaws sometimes makes you more perfect in some ways and um it also depends on the situation sometimes your your flaws um works for you in certain situations right so it's not a flaw but it to your advantage and so um the strength card you're getting to know yourself a lot better you have that inner strength as well as the outer strength and you can accomplish anything and everything so that's the surprises coming towards you and you're accumulating a lot of abundance it could be love it could be relationships it could be um money right everything all right, so let's take a look at the, these two cards inspirations and answers that's what yep inspirations which is the empress card we talked about the creativity being feeling inspired and so yeah you're the surprises another surprise like I, I said over here i think you guys will get anything and everything it's not just one surprise but surprises right multiple and one of them is inspirations you're gonna feel like creativity coming flowing at you um answers you're gonna find a lot of solutions and answers to your questions to your problems um, a lot of the things maybe I don't feel like you have a lot of problems anyways but if you do um, answers is gonna come flowing at you and and things are just gonna get resolved so like I said a lot of abundance and wonderful things coming your way and, and you can do anything you actually i feel like even for the answers you have the key and the answers to everything too you can do it so this is what i see for pile number one this is the surprises coming your way i don't um yeah i think some of the surprises could probably doesn't seem like a surprise to you um something that you know already but others are um like you know just wonderful ideas coming flowing at you uh towards you especially if you're doing anything like you know requires a lot of like inspirations ideas new ideas um new thinking new new thoughts um so lots of things coming towards you or money right you are gonna accumulate a lot of money as well so 
that's what I see for pile number one. If you have anything you would like to share with me, you can leave it in the comment section below. And don't forget to like, share, or subscribe to my channel and join my video and turn on that notification bell if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye. All right, so if you chose pile number two, okay, uh, we will take a look at these two cards later. Uh, so your past, we have the Sea Kitten, which is the um, Page of Cups. In the present, we have, wow, the Ace of Cups. And then uh, we have Fire Tom. This is the Knight of Wands. All right. Um, I feel like number pile number two, you guys are quite similar to pile number one. There wasn't any, like, I'm, I'm sure there's hardships and difficulties and obstacles and stuff like that, but it wasn't too, too bad. All right. So in the past, there's the page of cups, the page of cups. There's, there was a new offer, maybe a romantic offer, most likely a romantic offer, but not necessarily. It could be just something that makes you feel really emotionally fulfilled, um, emotionally happy, some an offer that you like to receive. Okay. So it could be work related as well, but, um, could be someone proposed to you, someone um, asked you out. Um, in the traditional writer way, is a person with a fish coming out. So the fish also represents a lot of abundance too. So I think there was just um, a very good offer or a very good opportunity that came in your way in the past, okay? And so now we have the Ace of Cups. We have a lot of these like, new energy or new beginnings this is like a, a new um direction or maybe like a new path like i said a new opportunity maybe something that you you wanted to do but you haven't done it yet or you're scared to do um and you were offered an opportunity to do that and i think you took on the opportunity you actually um acted upon it or something like that right um or maybe you were thinking about it and right now in the present you finally took uh are starting okay you are finally going to start it the ace of cups i actually feel like this is very heavily um romantic geared romantic like romantic relationship geared um but not necessarily so take it how it resonates but uh i think most of the pile number two people it could be very heavily related to like romantic relationships or just relationships with people in general and the ace of cups is that there's this new love coming in it could be a, again new opportunity coming in or you're starting you're you're finally taking on that first step into the relationship um whether it's romantic or it could be work related finally you took that offer and you are making that first move um you know taking on that opportunity and, and 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 take advantage of the opportunity as well and i actually feel like you feel very very happy and you just couldn't be happier right now and um you feel like finally you're on the right track um to do what you love to do or what you're meant to do you just feel that um or you you if you met someone if it's romantic then um you feel like you've met the right person this person uh brought you a lot of joy and you probably brought, brings them a lot of joy as well um just a very loving energy right here okay and a lot of like new things coming your way in the past and in the present um moment okay so now in the future surprises coming your way there's lots of actions there's lots of things going on so i think you're gonna get start to get really really busy with a lot everything um i think uh <laughs> if it's romantically i think you're gonna get a lot of actions okay um it's going to be super passionate um it's super lovey-dovey you guys cannot um you know leave each other's sides every time you see each other you're like in each other's arms type of things okay there's lots of like passionate energy going on in the future like this this is the surprises maybe you didn't think maybe you thought you know like you, you think they were interested and they like you you like them right um maybe you guys were a little i, I get the feeling like you you're a little polite you're a little shy but in the future when um that's coming soon in the next month or so, maybe two months up to two months, one to two months, um, you're going to find that 
passionate fiery side um, of yourself and your partner okay and you're just gonna have this passionate thing it could be sex but it could just be love lots of love going on it's just super lovey-dovey all right um and you're gonna willing to do anything for this other for this person they're they're willing to do anything for you because um night is all about action especially the night of um wands it's super actiony okay they they will do everything um I, I think they would do more than talk about it. They prefer to do it, show you, instead of just all talks, right? Which is better anyways. Um, so, um, let's see. What else? Okay, so if it's not romantically related, okay, um, the Knight of Wands is also very, very action oriented. And so uh, I think if you're, you took on like a new job, a new opportunity or something like that, um, I, or even if you met someone, like you're partnering up with someone and starting your own business or something like that, um, I think you right now you're gonna get super busy. I, not right now, I meant like in the future, the surprises coming your way is that maybe you were thinking like, maybe you feel like this is the right thing to do, but you're still, there's still that, that iffy and fear, right? What if it doesn't take off? What if I made, I made the wrong choice or something like that? But no, um, I think you're gonna start seeing uh, the ball start to get rolling. You have like a ton of, work coming towards you as for example if you're being an entrepreneur or you're starting your own jobs there's gonna be a lot of like business coming your way you're gonna get super busy there's like phone calls and and just like this really crazy um energy going on around you making you super super busy so you don't even have time to like go to bed but you you feel like pumped up you're like ready to take on anything anything you you feel energized you feel good and and you want to ha take on all these challenges right so you you like it you're you're gonna be kept super busy so it's not gonna be like oh just sitting there not doing anything you're gonna feel uh super useful <laughs> um super helpful uh just lots of things for you to do so you're you'll never be bored okay um so that's a surprise coming in so you're gonna be uh, piled with work and and jobs and and things to do and and you like it okay so now um, other things, these is finding and go outside. The, yeah, like see, go outside. Um, the go outside, I really do feel like the the the, the Knight of Wands. Um, it's definitely a going outside car. Like you're gonna, especially if you the job that you're taking on is very sales and marketing oriented. Um, so you're not gonna be sitting there picking up phone calls. I mean, even if you're picking up phone calls, the phone calls is like nonstop, um, and and you might even have to to take on. Um, you know go outside and 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 do some run some errands or something like that or, or go to visit like clients house or something like that the go outside i even feel um there's a message where uh you might be sent abroad or uh sent on business trips too so that could be a surprise coming your way you're gonna be super busy and you're gonna be traveling too um being sent away uh to work on uh, business accounts and business cases and projects and stuff like that so you're gonna get super busy really really busy um with the finding as well finding you know going outside finding out like a lot of even more opportunities coming your way so like one job leads to another job and referrals and everything um if it's romantically re related like surprises coming your way uh it could be both you know what i mean um you could you could actually get both the the work and the uh romantic part of things um so anyways the go outside i think uh you guys might have a chance to uh go on a trip okay and you found out more about each other you found each other's like you're like wow this is like a side of you i've never seen i wouldn't even guess like there's this side of you um so that would be a really big surprise right you something that they or even like it they might even surprise themselves or you might even surprise yourself that wow i i, I never knew that i had this side to me um because you you're with this person they they just kind of 
bring that side out for you because your guys are very comfortable very lovey-dovey and that kind of things okay so that will be the surprises coming your way in the next month or two and that's all i see for pile number two i hope this gives you a little something to look forward to and if you have anything you would like to share with me you can leave it in the comment section below and don't forget to like share or subscribe to my channel and my video and turn on that notification bell if you haven't already thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye Alrighty, so for pile number three, let's take a look at your past, present, and future. The surprises, we'll take a look at these last. So first of all, we have the Five of Cups. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at the puppy. And then um, right now we have this Four of um, Swords, and then we have the King of Cups. Wonderful. Okay, so I think for pile number three, you guys um, passed them present is actually not that bad okay the past um in the past there were a lot of disappointments um you had high expectations maybe or maybe even if you don't have high expectations um there were disappointments like you 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 wanted at least this and they can't even fulfill that right um whether it's romantically or maybe it's if it's jobs uh related or maybe money money related um just a lot of disappointments a lot of like um change too because five is all about change so you there were a lot of like adapt like adapting to do so with the disappointments you kind of adapt it you're like well oh well what you know what can i do right um but you just feel really disappointed and and, and not looking forward to a lot of things you're just feeling like oh it's like life and 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 what's the point of living or what's the point of of doing anything right it's just like one maybe one disappointment leads to another and and there's maybe a lot of change going on something like just not very stable okay and then um the present is the four of wands so finally i think you're, you're you guys are healing yourself a little bit you're putting things on hold um you're just want it to rest uh, meditate you think about a lot of things that you wanted to do but you just couldn't get you yourself up to it just because you know all the things that you've done in the past is like you failed or it was very disappointing just not up to you, what you expected it's just ugh, you know and so now you're you there's all these things in your mind in your head that you want to do but you're like what's the point it's just gonna be very disappointing um you know so you just couldn't get the the, the yourself up to do things um, but you are healing yourself. You, you're trying to pump yourself up too. You're like, you know what? Maybe this time is going to be different. I, I should do something. Um, let's try it again. Give it one more go. And so you, you try to pump yourself up, but then there's like this two, um, energy kind of conflicting each other. And, 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 and you're like, oh, but you know, what if it, I failed again? Well, you know, I, I don't want all that disappointment again and all that stuff. So that's all you're in your head. So you've been kind of like stagnant, not doing much, um, just kind of chilling, taking it easy, um, and not having any expectations at all. <laughs> but you do have things that you wanted to do. Okay. You do have things that you wanted to do, but you just can't gather the courage or the, um, uh like get yourself pumped up to do it yet okay so now in the future the surprises um this is the king of cups which is all about things becoming more stable so being fulfilled um king of cups is a very um nice energy where you know you get you you feel very calm you feel uh things are maybe getting back to normal right um i mean it could swing one way or the other but you've been thinking a lot and you're trying and i think you're coming out of this healing energy you've you've healed yourself you actually gained a lot of insight about something like i think during this 
period of us uh, um stagnancy i guess um you gain a lot of insight this is almost like that hermit energy i feel um except uh it's a little bit about scorpio ish too where um you just uh feel like you've gotten it um kind of sort things out your emotional um feelings and and also uh the king of cups is a very very stable emotionally stable uh person very caring very intuitive and they're also a visionary so i feel like in the future the surprises coming your way is that you're gonna get enlightened you're gonna find your way you're gonna find i don't know you, if you're going to actually start doing something but you're gonna feel enlightened and you're gonna be healed uh you're gonna feel a lot better about yourself about life about everything you're gonna see the brighter side of things okay and you're gonna gain a lot of knowledge insights I, in fact a lot of insights about a lot of things other people don't have it this this wisdom right um because all of these things that you've gained you've experienced in the past you know what it feels like right you know what it's about so i actually feel like you're able to um, maybe help other people you you can um heal people through your words or just your touch just or your presence just being there people feel like they're being soothed um feeling good about themselves right so um and i think you're gonna have some again this is like that visionary intuitive something that you know you could do um but you're not r r gonna because uh, this is the cups okay so the cups is not really ready for taking actions and stuff like that so um but you you have insights you know what you should do okay so in the next one to two months you're gonna feel very very enlightened um but you're not ready to take any actions just yet but uh you can heal people through your words you're gonna be surprised you're like wow so i found the purpose maybe maybe this is what what it is you're the surprise is that you found a purpose in life you found your purpose in life um what you can do right so let's take a look at oh my gosh <gasps> okay seriously um i did not look any of these uh cards when i um drew them out and look at this healing and spirit guide ah <gasps> What did I say? I say you feel healed. This is the healing part, and this is healed. Um, and then you're gonna you found your purpose. You're you, you found um, like you can soothe people. You can heal people just by being there, like a spirit guide. You can guide people. That visionary, um, being able to communicate that 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 um, supernatural ability a little bit too wow oh my gosh um <laughs> i'm getting like goosebumps a little bit really i don't know if you can see it um yeah you can't see it but yeah uh yeah it's crazy okay so that's the surprises coming your way you're gonna be able to guide people you found your purpose and you're gonna feel really good and stable and and just wise like ah, wise um yeah wow 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 okay so that's what i see for pile number three if you have anything you would like to share with me especially you're gonna be so intuitive and stuff like that share with me your your little journey and 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 what you see <laughs> about like my channel and stuff like that but anyways share with me if you have anything you would like to to leave in the message below and don't forget to like share or subscribe to my channel enjoy my video and turn on that notification bell if you haven't already thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye all right lastly we have pile number four we are going to take a look at these two cards last um so your past is this knight of swords interesting and then we have the seven of cups interesting that's for your present and then the four of cups for the future the surprises okay 
the feature is not that bad don't don't worry about the four of cups We're like ah um <laughs> okay so the past we have the knight of swords the knight of swords i think what's happening in the past is that you are finally able to cut all of the you know past um things bad experiences or even if they're like wonderful memories and stuff like that but i think it might have accompanied with some horrible things as well so you you chose to probably rather not remember it and and just forget all of it okay you want to move on so in the past um i think you, you you tried to cut away things you took action you want to cut away from whatever that's happened in the past you don't want the, the your past to drag you down okay so that's what's happening in the past um you've been fighting with your past like it's been kind of trapping you um and, and dragging you down a little bit and in, in, in the past so you've been always trying to fight it and, and and not let it catch up to you and not let it affect you so i think that there's maybe a lot of trauma in the past maybe there were a lot of um things uh the nights are always about you know taking actions and stuff like that but uh, the swords is always about warriors and and war and that, that type of thing so I think you were, um, you know, trying to overcome a lot of the challenges m that happened in the past, and 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 you've been trying very very hard to uh, not let it affect you. Okay, and so now we're coming into Seven of Cups. I feel like um, you probably succeeded. Okay, at least you're able to suppress it and not let it affect you that much right or um and then the seven of cups the seven of cups is about choices it's about options um it's about becoming more confident right um you're on your way to more because uh, the cups is always about like emotional and kind of spiritual things as well so i feel like you kind of healed yourself a little um and maybe by fighting with your past and stuff like that you remembered what you wanted to do when you were little or all that dreams that you had when you were young or uh, not even when you're young but things that you wanted to do when you got a little older too right and so you remember things uh that you kind of forgotten and 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 then you you chose to forget some of these other things right <laughs> so now you're coming to an option so there's all these things that you wanted to do you need to prioritize things that you wanted to do there's actually a lot of things that you wanted to do and accomplish and so you're trying to prioritize right now you're trying to figure out what you should do first um and i feel like you have the confidence to move on right now um so you're like you know carefully planning number seven is a very spiritual number as well so i think you're healing yourself at the same time um by doing what you love to do so you're prioritizing what you love to do you're trying to figure out what do i want right what do i really want but the thing about uh, Seven of Cups is also about be careful of what you wish for because, um, and I'm, I think you are probably aware of that too, that so you, you're really carefully planning and thinking about um, what it is exactly that you wanted to accomplish and what, what, what's, what's first, right? That you wanted to do so that's what's going on with you right now but there are a lot of op options options <laughs> what am i trying to do options and choices coming your way right now too so not only the things that you wanted to do but there are other outside um options coming in for you as well that you can choose from too um, so you're kind of like not sure confused and, you, and maybe also you don't want to uh feel bad if you have to turn other people down so you're kind of just kind of like trying to figure things out right that's where you are all right so uh with the 
future. We have the Four of Cups. Four of Cups usually is,、um, you know, right away is about missed opportunities, but four is always about stability. So,、um, surprises coming your way is that there's stability coming in.、Um, I think you're going to finally make that choice. Okay,、um, even Four of Cups is about choices too. It's about an opportunity being handed to you. Do you want to take it? So maybe there's gonna the surprise is actually right now、um, you have the Seven of Cups. So there's all these like opportunities presented. So you have all these like current opportunities, right? And also what you think you want. So like all these options. And then the surprise coming towards you is that when you finally.、Um, You know, just looking at all of the Seven of Cups kind of choices, like the current and the the ones that you wanted to do, stuff like that, and you're about to make a a, a decision, right? Through these selections and choices, there's another new opportunity that came in last, right?、Um, that's gonna present to you.、Uh, so, are you gonna take that, or are you gonna go with this? Other ones, right? So I feel like the surprise is that when you're about to make a choice, there's gonna be an additional one. So maybe you narrowed the seven choices or however many choices, a hundred choices. Finally, you narrowed it down to like four or maybe two, and then you're gonna give you're gonna you're going to be given another one. You're like, no, now I have to do this all over again.、Um, but I mean, in a way, if you look at it, you are hot. Everybody wants you. <laughs> Everyone wants to work with you. Maybe everyone wants to、uh, be your friend、uh, or date you. So the surprise is that you're gonna have this one extra opportunity, one extra offer coming your way, and、um, and so it's up to you if you want to take it or not. Okay, it's up to you if you want to take it or not.、Um, I feel like this new opportunity might be a little bit more stabler, but in other words, maybe sometimes. Okay, this is what this is what's happening. Whenever we're really stable and everything's going really well, we wish for a change. We want something different because we're bored with being stable. And then when things are really chaotic and things are changing, or we're super busy, or we're like, no, I want something. I want to just have like feel relaxed. I just want to chill. So it's always like kind of like what we 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 want what we can't have, or the grass is greener on the other side type of things. So I feel like、um, with the Four of Cups is that that's kind of the thing、um, you're gonna. You, you kind of scared if you're gonna miss out an opportunity once you decide what you wanted to do, but you don't have to be scared.、Um, even if you start doing one thing, once you've gotten that one thing kicked off and doing okay, you can always take on other tasks and jobs and stuff like that.、Um, the only thing that you should Kind of think about is it about the timing of things. So if this new offer coming in, if you actually procrastinated and not take on that offer, is it gonna disappear? Is it gonna go away?、Uh, is it better to take on this opportunity right now? And if there are other ones that could wait.、Um, so again, it's still about. So you might have to reprioritize、uh, some of the stuff. Okay, so that might be your surprise. But again. The surprise coming in your way is that there's even more choices, even more opportunities. You're gonna be bombarded with offers and choices and things to decide、um, what you wanted to do. Okay, so people want to come in and and do stuff with you or、uh, have a relationship with you, whatever it is. So you're gonna. You're.、Um, I think the one thing you don't have to worry about is having options and offers. There's going to be a ton. Okay. The thing that you should worry about is prioritizing what you should do first. All right. So let's take a look at this last two cards. Oh my gosh. Coming together in life purpose. Okay. So maybe what you wanted to do、uh, with the surprises coming in your way is also、um, you're gonna、uh, you're gonna figure out. What your life purpose is,、uh, what it is that's most important to you, what you should do first. You should prioritize that above everything and all else,、uh, and come together. Like I said, there's a lot of people that want to work with you. There's a lot of opportunities come coming towards you. So 
I feel this coming together is about, you know, uh, all these opportunities and choices coming your way. But also with this coming together, um, I believe there's there might be celebrations, um, maybe parties to go to. So maybe you're getting invited to go to all kinds of like gatherings and people wants to wants you to be at their uh, parties and stuff like that. Uh, and you're like, oh my gosh, I, I there's only one me and there's five parties to go to. Which one should I go, <laughs> right? Uh, um, so you got to figure that out. Um, so decide from your heart. You have a lot of cups, uh, suits. So heart is very, very important. Don't decide with your mind. What's happening in the past is the mind thing. You already got that over done with. So now use your heart to decide what it is that you want to do the most okay so the surprises coming your way is that you're gonna have a ton of opportunities and choices still you think this is gonna be over no there's gonna be even more and you're gonna really uh, decide who you want to be friends with who do you want to keep um, and I think there's a lot of uh, parties and gatherings uh, coming your way as well uh, soon and that could be a surprise too you didn't think wow you're so popular <laughs> well you are okay L people love being in your presence okay so that's what i see for pile number four and if you have anything you would like to share with me you can leave it in the comment section below and don't forget to like share or subscribe to my channel enjoy my video and turn on that notification bell if you haven't already thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye